Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here and for today's video, I just wanted to do a tome video on how to get every single one of them and I know I've been gone for so long, I do apologize for that, but I do have a pretty big video coming up. I've been working on this Pokemon video for like a super long time now and I don't know how much of you guys are actually interested in Pokemon, you guys might not be interested at all, but this is something that I wanted to put out, it's like a challenge that I wanted to do. If you guys seen my uh, previous Pokemon video, it's pretty much that, but uh, continued like all the way to the very end. So if you want to see that challenge, it should be in my next video. Hopefully it's out very, very soon. I've been like working on it for like a really long time now. My plan was to make it around like 30 minutes to maybe up to an hour, but um, obviously it's going to be edited down as well. And if it's not something that you're interested in and you just want to see Trove content, then I will still continue to do that. But this is just something I like to do like on the side, like maybe throw in a different game from time to time and just like a challenge that I still enjoy doing. Like I still enjoy Trove, but I enjoy other things as well. So I want to incorporate that into my videos as well. Anyway, with that being said, let's get straight on to this video. So currently all of the tomes that are in the game as of right now, we have 19 dailies. So when I say dailies, these are just ones that you can repeat. Like once you finish it, then you can restart it. Uh, the one that I have on currently is not repeatable. I'll get to that in a second. So yeah, these are your, uh, I guess, quote unquote daily ones, the ones that you can repeat. Then you have your legendary tomes. You can complete these only once. And then your mastery ones, which obviously get for mastery, you can only complete those once as well. And I feel like I don't really have to talk about how to get these. You, you just get this for mastery. Like if you just go to your mastery tab, you can kind of just scroll up and see when you get a specific tome. Like 730, you get this tome right here. At 630 mastery, you get the uh, illustrious gem box tome. So this is only one. This is three pressure locked heirloom cases. If you're trying to get mementos, this will give you a random memento. They're supposed to give out non-event ones, but I've seen a couple of people drop event ones from this actually, so I don't know if they changed it. But you can get bio mementos, creatures, or bosses from this one. It's just completely random. Then obviously you get gem dust, you get pinatas. Uh, this is the delve shadow keys and then you get 15 dragon coins one trove of wonder i'm pretty sure this is early on you get this from uh, 100 yeah you get this at 100 trove mastery here so yeah, just check your mastery and then you can see when you get those all right so i'm going to move over to this club over here because we actually have all of the benches here so i'm going to go a little bit out of order in here but i'm just going to go through a bunch of benches to show you guys where you can get these tomes so the room crafting bench if you go to the dabblers tab you can get the repeatable glim and flux tomes uh the flux one isn't really that much, so don't get your hopes up too much. I think it's 15. Wait, my bad. You get 100 every time you repeat it. It's really not that much. And then 150 glim. Not not that much either. Not really. Don't get high hopes for this one at all. Uh, next, we got three more here. We got the shape stone, the formosite, and the infinium. And just note that these are all the repeatable ones. Uh, this one's for mushroom chunks, so you get 50 of those. Then we got 15 robotic salvage from this tome over here. And then the last thing in here is the cinnabar tome. This one is actually pretty good. I would recommend it. You get 40 cinnabar every time you complete it, so pretty good overall. Next, I wanted to go over to the hub and over to the delve workbench. There's a couple daily ones, really good ones actually. Highly recommend getting these. These are pretty good for flux as well if you want to sell it. But there's six different tomes in here, and you do need the recipes to craft this. You can either purchase these, or I believe they're in the understax biome from a merchant. I know you have to get them from a merchant, or obviously you can just use the marketplace to buy it. But yeah, just know that there's these tomes in here. Pretty good for flux if you want to sell those. Next, I went over to the shadowy market here. I'm all the way in the shadow tower area, so I go to the shadowy market. And there's a couple things you can get in here. There's these two tomes. You can repeat these ones daily. Or not daily, but you can just repeat them over and over. And then there's one for lunar souls you can get, which you can you can get right here. 20 of these uh, tentacles of Cthulhu's or 400 eyes of Cthulhu. So yeah, four tomes in total in here. So over here in the neon city biome, you can actually find one of these workbenches. Some clubs actually do have these, so you can check that out. But if you go over here over to tomes, there's actually five different tomes we can get in here this one's repeatable 30 plasmium and these ones are pretty good to get as well because these resources aren't that easy to get and obviously sentient shards are pretty time gated so you can get those as well the rich fertilizer i know i went out of order here but this is actually from a store pack i don't think i have it but it's, it's the flower power pack it's for 1500 credits we got the insta grower one here this is also from the flower power pack you, uh, it's for 1500 credits and you get the rich fertilizer one as well then we got this one over here which produces 40 big bombs this one's also from the store it's 2500 credits to get this one and then we have the writings of wonder here this gives you two trove of wonders so if you want to get this i've seen this on the marketplace i've also seen this in luxian i don't know if there's any other place you can get this but i know those are the two that you can get it from but they just give you two trove of wonders and you can only do this once a week so you can technically just get a gonda naturally through this but it's really difficult it's, it's an option next i want to talk about a couple in the store actually there's more than a couple in the store but if you go to the crystals tab there's uh four tomes here these are repeatable one time so there's the builderite one which gives you 35 this one gives you 25 moonlit moss this one's 35 ancient gear and this one's 25 wallflowers they are not that much it's 
honestly not really that worth it but it's uh, mastery here that you can get the gems tab we do have the empowered gem one you get one empowered gem a week and this isn't a guaranteed stellar so you can get a radiant from this or even a two star so it's really not that good it's only one but i guess it's still something then we got the jade clover one this is also repeatable one time you get a hundred of these next up we go over to the dragons tab we have the dragon coin digest this is just 25 dragon coins repeatable once a week this is pretty good i highly recommend it especially if you guys need your dragons this is really good but obviously you need the credits for it and then i think i can't remember if this is actually with cubits as well but if it's not with cubits then you have to use credits to get it then over here in the morse tab we can get the chaos chest one this is 10 chaos chests a week every time you charge it next we have some geotomes here if we go over to the christology bench we can go over to the dabblers tab we can get the day drop tome here and the gleamstone one and complete these once a week then over in the enthusiast we can get the moonlit moss over here i did mention this in the store as well but you can also just craft it here then over here we got the builder right up this one's in the store as well but you can craft it and we have the ancient gears the wallflowers but then we have this one over here where we have cosmic gem dust this gives you five thousand a week there is ones for uh water fire and air but that's through mastery i don't know why they didn't make this one through mastery but i guess they involved this one in geode and we have two more important tomes here we have the metamatter one which i highly recommend getting if you can you get four metamatter per week you can only do this once a week it does take 10 to craft but like in the long run you'll, you'll just get more so it's pretty good to have this and then we got the crystalline core tome it takes 400 to craft it which is annoying and it only gives you 50 but i guess you know in the long run it does help so it's a pretty good tome to have as well i'm still gonna go a little bit out of order here but then for the sooner stuff you can go over not there over here you can get three tomes here this is for 18 unnatural devices this is for 15 sunder charge crystals this is super good i highly recommend getting this one if you can these things aren't tradable and they're kind of time gated in a way kind of they're just really difficult to farm and annoying to farm and then lastly this one 13 ashburn sporlings go over here to the adventurous crafting bench and we can go over here down to the gems you can get yourself a book of bound brilliance this is really good i highly recommend doing this if you need your augmented gems you get five a week it's only repeatable one time but it's there then we got this tome over here i'm pretty sure these actually appear in luxian i know you can get them from the market they're not super expensive if you're brand new it might be a little bit expensive or if you don't have like a good flux making strat it might be like 60 to 100k depending on when you're watching this you can also get this super rarely from a lesser geode cache the ones that you farm in geo topside and i'm pretty sure you can actually get this one as well from there it's just super rare and it also has a chance of giving you bound brilliance but again, super rare drops. I've gotten a tome from it once, but I don't remember which one it was. It must have been this, but I don't entirely remember. And now for the last ones, we have the Bomber Royale one. So if we go to the Bomber bench, if you don't know where it is, I'll just I'll give you a little tour here. It's we got the Bomber area over here. This is where the hub is. This is the Dragon area. Bomber. So we go all the way down here. Your club might have this bench, but I'm not entirely sure. But in case it doesn't, then you can just come here. Then if we go over to Burnt Coin Rewards, there's two tomes you can pick up here. It's 25 Bomber Royale coins. There are two different ones, so you can get these two, and it can help you get some of the stuff in here as well. This is only completable once a week, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, I covered all of the tomes. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Let me know if I missed something. I'm pretty sure I covered all the tomes. I went through the list, and if my explanation for something wasn't super clear, drop it in the comments. I'll be sure to answer that for you guys. And be on the lookout for that Pokemon video. I've worked super hard on it. My plan was to upload that on last Sunday, but maybe it might be this weekend i'm not entirely sure i want to upload that as soon as possible and i can get back to my usual videos and my usual content so yeah, i don't want to hype it up too much anymore so just stay tuned if you want to check it out go for it if you don't want to then that's totally fine but anyway thank you for all the support even though whenever i don't upload you guys are still there with me i appreciate it and on that note i will see you all later